This is Switzer. Still plenty more to come on the program. Here's a quick check of the market today. The benchmark S&P ASX 200 index made up about seven tenths of a percent, finishing at 4,477. Now, the Entrepreneurs Organisation has led to more than 1.7 million people being employed worldwide. Operating in 35 countries, there are almost 9,000 members and the average member makes $18 million in revenue. So what's the secret behind this millionaire's factory? To find out, I'm joined by its global chairman, Sama Kurdi, and Sydney President, Richard Corder. Got it right, guys? Got to Evening, try and Great to see you. Let's start off before we start talking about the organisation, because you guys run your own business as well. So, Samo, let's tell us about your business first. Um, my business is, is in the food manufacturing business. We've been doing that for about 32, 33 years. Yeah. So it's, it's a family business. Okay, uh, what's it called? It's called Sambula Group. Yeah, and what kind of food do you make? Uh, we do all kinds of frozen value-added products as well as uh, uh, we bottle honey. Okay. So it's, uh, it's uh, I'd say it's, it's a recession-proof type of business because yeah. everyone has got to eat. Yeah. Uh, when the times are really good, we don't grow crazy like everyone else. Yeah. But when the times are bad, we continue to grow at, at a good modest rate. Family business? Family business, yes. Okay. And where do you supply? Do you supply delicatessen, supermarkets? We supply supermarkets as well as, as uh, hotels, restaurants and cafes. Okay. What's it like doing business with the supermarkets? They can be challenging. They teach you a lot about business, don't they? Uh, sure. There is no doubt about that. It's, you know, especially my business is mainly in the Middle East. Yeah. So that's quite different than, you know, the businesses in, in other places. Mm. Um, the supermarket uh, uh, sector is growing very, very fast. Mm. So a lot of businesses uh, in the retail are moving from being, you know, small family owned uh, uh, operations yeah. into multiple chains, businesses, you know, large uh, international supermarket chains. Mm. And, you know, th it's certainly becoming more difficult and more competitive in that yeah. sense. Yeah. But at the same time, it is providing uh, uh, more outlets for the consumers to buy better products, better prices, mm. uh, uh, certainly better shopping experience. Okay. So it's, it's all good in that okay. sense. Now, Richard, tell us about your business. Well, Peter, there's nothing I'd rather be doing than helping Australian businesses with their equipment finance requirements. Mm. So what we do is we actually provide the money mm. for our customers mm. to buy certain types of equipment, mm. whether it be cranes, trucks, cars, plant and machinery, vans, basically anything yeah. they need to operate their cranes business. Cranes have been bigger than news. You didn't lease the one that had a, a big fire this yeah. week, did no, you? No, no, that wasn't mine. Okay, good stuff. <laughs> so, so the name of the business is? The name of the business is Zenith yep. Finance. Finance. Yeah. And so because you're in the finance part of the sector, and I've, I've been referring to business confidence has been down, uh, you know, consumer confidence has been pretty ordinary until recent times. What's it been like at the coalface? Well, look, it's, I've got to say the last four or five months, it's sort of picked up quite yeah. a bit for I'm, us. I'm, st I'm starting to hear this. And uh, yeah. we're getting a lot more inquiries to finance different types of plant. Mm. Um, uh, most of our business, uh, all, all of our business is, is in Australia, mm. uh, predominantly in New South Wales. Mm. And we are seeing a bit of an increase in in interest from, from our customers in, in, in purchasing equipment. It's good to hear that anecdotal evidence is starting to show some positive signs. So, Sana, how did you get into the entrepreneurs' organisation and why did you do it? Sure. Um, I've been a member for about uh, nine or ten years now. Okay. Uh, the main reason for someone like me to get into an organisation like the entrepreneurs' organisation is our quest, if you may, to, to be around peers, mm. uh, people who have similar aspirations, similar problems, similar uh, uh, destinies, if you may. And uh, the entrepreneurs' organization was, was a one-stop shop, if you may, for, for, uh, for entrepreneurs. So I find it to be an organization that helps me not only on the business aspect, but also on aspects beyond that, on, on, on family, on, uh, on community, mm. and also on, on myself and my personal happiness. Mm. Uh, we have something within the organization, we call it Entrepreneurs Organization 360 or EO 360 degrees. Mm. So it's the totality of the entrepreneur versus being just the business mm. aspect of the entrepreneur. So Richard, why did you join and what were the, the big payoffs that you've picked up by being a part of this organisation? Well, look, I, I was approached by a couple of friends that yeah. were involved in the organisation and they were telling me what an incredible place it was to be. Mm. It's a peer-to-peer -peer, uh, learning platform mm. that you get to mix with entrepreneurs from all around the world. Yeah. And, and really what I've found is being part of it is that EO is the ultimate 
uh, destination for all entrepreneurs because yeah. it's about learning, it's about uh, it's about networking, it's about growing, and it's about friendships. Yeah, but you, you don't try and sell to each other, do you? If that happens, well, that's good luck to you. But the, the, the point of the exercise is actually being in good company and learning from that experience. That's right. Yeah. Well, what, what we do, we actually have a non-solicitation policy. Yeah. So, for example, um, with, 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 with Samo, if I want to do business with Samo, I can't actually offer my services to him. Mm -hmm. However, he can come to me and, 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 and ask for my services. Yeah, okay. So that's the non-solicitation policy. Yeah, okay, fine. So, in terms of if someone wanted to join the organisation, what are the basic credentials? Uh, it's, it's really very simple, uh, rather. Um, um, you have to be a founder, co-founder, or majority shareholder of a business that generates a million dollars, US dollars a year in, in revenue. Yeah. But that's what we call mainly the, the, the hard uh, uh, qualifications, if you may. And then so you, have, you want someone who actually has ha been in the game yes. for a while to get the turnover over up to a million dollars. You've learned a bit, but you're, you're, you're yeah. thirsting for assistance. Yes, yeah. yes. And, and once, once you have that, then we go into the soft qualifications. Mm -hmm. And the soft qualifications being, you know, all the uh, um, values that we share as, as members, you know, from trust and respect to thirst for learning to, to being cool, you know, if, you know, we like to think that we are cool. I think Richard is very cool and we like to think that way. Uh, so, so these are the soft qualifications that, that we look for in, in our members. Mm -hmm. And, you know, once they have that, they could, you know, uh, uh, always go to our website, eonetwork.org. Mm -hmm. They will find more information about the organization itself and the local chapter. Mm -hmm. And we have chapters in, in over 40 countries right now, about uh, 120 or 130 different uh, uh, cities mm. and we are always looking for good strong entrepreneurs who can contribute to the entrepreneurial community worldwide yeah. and if you may uh, allow me to add it's not only about the current entrepreneurs we also support aspiring entrepreneurs who just started whether they are students mm. who have businesses small businesses they are under the age of 25 and they have small businesses that have been operating for no more than six months, many of them, and we help them grow their businesses. And eventually be qualified to, be, to join the organisation. Absolutely. Now, the thing I, I know is that in Australia, there's been, been plenty of well-known businesses that have started, like uh, uh, Roses Only, uh, James started there, uh, Red Balloon. Um, worldwide, what, this is probably a hard question, we probably should go to you, but what do you think is the most well-known business worldwide that actually started with an entrepreneur's organisation? Uh, well, I would say... Um, uh, a lady by the name of Sarah Blakely from uh, EO Atlanta in Georgia in the US. Uh, she has a business called Spanx, mm. and apparently Spanx is, is a billion dollar business. She started it about 12 years ago yeah. with $5,000, mm. and uh, uh, through uh, um, you know, her hard work, obviously, but also through the support of her uh, uh, EO forum members, yeah. uh, uh, she actually managed to grow her business to become uh, a billion dollar business, and she is currently recognized as the youngest self-made female billionaire globally, and she is one of our own, so we're very proud of her. Yeah. Richard, you, you, how long have you been in the organisation? Uh, for, for 12 years. Okay. So how do you think you've changed from the day you walked in to the way you are now? Well, I think, I think for me, I think one of the things is it's about learning. Mm. So mixing with entrepreneurs from all around the world, world it's an incredible learning experience that, that, that you get. Yeah. Um, incredible inspiration yeah. that, 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 that you get. It adds competitive advantage, doesn't it? And you're learning it mm. the easy... Mm. It, it's by, by being in the company of great people in the end forces you to lift your level. What about you, Simon? What do you think is the biggest change of you as an entrepreneur? Absolutely. Learning is very important. What's more important to me personally than learning is uh, uh, the spirit transfer. Mm. You know, I'm able to rub shoulders with some of the most talented. I'm coming from Saudi Arabia. I'm able to, to hang out with people like Richard and so many other people here in, in Australia yeah. and get a part of their entrepreneurial spirit and take it back to different places around the world. Yeah. And that is something that money cannot buy. It's, right. it's more than learning to me. It's, it's the spirit. All right, guys. If people want to know, what's the website people should go to? Uh, it's eonetwork.org. Great, guys. Thanks for joining me on the program. Thanks, Peter. Thank, Thank you. Okay, coming up, Lance Lay, my charts guy, will be back. Is he infallible? Find out next.